Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Taurus. Today we're reading about life and love. So my reading will be good for you guys, either you are coupled or singles. So if you guys may recall, uh, I used to do the horoscope spread. So 12 areas of life, okay? And that's the part that really may resonate with you either being single or coupled or married, especially that we have a note or two on marriage and children. So 12 areas of life. First house represents your persona, your personality, how you present, and the way that others perceive you. Second house is your money, your resources. Um, third house is your thinking, mindset. Fourth house is home and family life. Number five is about pleasures of life, uh, romance, and your own children, your own offspring. Sixth house is about work. And then number seven is about marriages and partnerships. Number eight is about shared resources. Number nine is your philosophy, faith, and so on. Number 10 is your status, your achievement. Number 11 is friendships. Number 12 is, uh, call it karma or call it your unconscious mind, the part that only you can access and only in also special settings, such as in dreams. Alrighty, guys. So without further ado, let me turn and let's read. And I'm going to try and do this in the most fluent of way. Let's see if we can read them on one turn. First house, we are looking at the devil, as if to say to you, Taurus, <clears throat> false fears at times uh, may hold you back from a more Turanian presentation, okay? Second house, we're looking at the queen of pentacles. Oh, I like that. That's your resources. You seem to have those amazing skills of analyzing and making money, okay? How else do I grow my resources? Third house here, we have the six of swords. I like that a lot too. So this is a house of thinking mindset and potentially ideas for learning the six of swords well we're in the logic element we're talking about perseverance perseverance over what its thoughts so this thinking house here talks to that presentation with the devil where we may have some you know what holdbacks maybe we think we are not a hundred percent with that area of presentation but really it's false okay fourth house we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups in an area to do with home and family life. Okay, so potentially a new idea for the house, for family life. Maybe a new location you're moving to. Maybe some new renovation, okay, around the household itself. But something new pops up in the area of home and family life, the household itself. And it could be about even the property itself. And it's something that makes you happy, okay? A page is a happy uh, concept of a new beginning to house number five where we have the joys and pleasures of life and we have also uh, areas on our children and we have the lover thank you Tara of Marseille so this is now a person choosing between prospects okay I don't want to say no more on the romance note that's good enough for me okay you're going to have choice but when it comes to your own children let's look at the other area of life too that part of it too um, have more true choices for your children as we are experiencing and going through lockdowns and quarantines and all that good stuff because life has become very very different and at times difficult for uh, kids and guys now to house number six where we are dealing with your work uh, day to day services we have the five of pentacles so a five of money changing situation alrighty material changes in the area of work of course, not just with COVID, but the market itself uh, responds so to political changes and all of that good stuff. I like the fact that you are mm, dealing with an earthy element here. The analysis, I can't overemphasize the beauty of this Queen of Pentacles, not just in the card, the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, ability to gain money, work with it, manage it, grow it. So. I like the fact that you have that energy going for you. You're going to be able to manage that change at work, even if it has some financial implications. And hopefully those are going to be amazing implications. Now, in the area of marriages and partnerships, you're overcoming some past obstacles. So that's a six of wands. All right. Those wands, guys, fired up in other decks. You can see that that comes after a little bit of being distracted. Okay, so no distraction sometimes can also come from the uh, work situation if there are material changes for you at work. But overall, perseverance, overall, if this is about a partnership, 
moving ahead in a way to house number eight where we talk about gaining from other people's resources shared resources and we have the judgment card so here's the note for you based on the energy of the queen of um, pentacles that you got for your money house house number two i would say to you judgment is asking you not to commit do not commit to investments prior to you having the best set of information can i say it any clearer do not commit haphazardly to investments get the facts prior to you know what pulling the trigger house number nine as we look at philosophy um faith spirituality you have a change of the status quo you have a tower there and the tower is in a way i really like this tower because it almost feels like we took the pieces apart and we're throwing them slowly <laughs> but this one uh shall i say by choice you're going through a change of a mindset by choice you're going through a deeper understanding a newer understanding of uh, spirituality your own uh, sense of faith as well i like it a lot things made by choice now to house number 10 and the lovely you know what energy of the 10 of wands so where it comes to your achievement your status you have the completion you have a potential upgrade you have a potential new beginning based on a nice completion of a 10 of wands and then you have new beginnings and then they're going to appear with friends and then they're going to appear on your deep mind so house number 11 here friendships and associations we have an ace of cups another new beginning something you are doing Taurus and it may be the work that you are doing working on um, eliminating false fears opens up newness in different ways a new way of communicating and socializing a new skill that helps you also manage the changes that are happening at work plus a new beginning a new excited way of looking at yourself internally in the area that has to do with house 12 which is karma which is the unconscious part of our mind of our soul Alrighty, so far so positive Taurus. now for those of you who are single let's see what suspect prospect may bring and what do they have to say so <laughs> their um relationship aura presents as a nine of cups oh they are emotionally ready okay their core energy presents as the four of swords oh they are mentally okay what what's the word capable of stabilizing thoughts they are dealing with um no haphazard movements they'll take action based on four elements of every thought and it appears like if i can pull so this position really this card in a way represents a snapshot of your 12 areas of life so this is a bit uh, inviting to say stable okay well thought out Alrighty. now how do they present with you maybe a little bit mysterious so we have the moon card um they want to do things but their ways of doing things the path they take is a little bit mysterious what does that mean taurus you're going to study them further your energy with them shows as the king of uh, wands meaning yes you have the energy to accumulate all possible knowledges knowledges knowledge about them in different ways in different ways their energy with you shows up as the justice card they appear to want to listen so that's a good sign uh, being a little bit mysterious when we communicate and we listen to each other maybe we will open up more maybe we'll trust more and we will understand the Taurus viewpoint I like that a lot now possibilities and you have the advancement here you have an eight of wands inspiring guys so um, wands have popped up different times and that's a really really nice um, energy if you will eights are about advancement eights are about advancement after what after we've let go of the doubt after we've answered the questions after we have come together understanding the road forward in a balanced way and this was the note on that justice card their energy with you um, stable remember i said they appear to have this emotional and mental stability by the way when i say mental stability take that with a grain of salt i really mean that pro in the appropriate term of um putting thoughts together without a rush that's what i mean okay two guiding notes and we have a five of cups and then we have le monde the world all right five of cups all right management of change um put your heart into it but not too much you're managing some change here at work with a five of pentacles mentality uh, be prepared for some 
um, emotional changes, some things that may happen around this connection. But overall, staying grounded, connected to four corners. Here's the thought of um, four elements as well. You appear to have the potential, okay, to reach this perfection with this connection there. So I see um, perfect harmony in the energies. I see uh, being balanced. I see uh, accumulation of knowledge, acting with a, you know what, a fair approach. And I like it. And with that being said, Taurus, I hope you guys like this reading. Would love it if you would comment and subscribe. Taurus, you are so amazing. And I want you to know, we do love you madly. Bye for now, guys.